What's going on ladies and gentlemen, your average roofer here. And today's video is gonna be short and sweet. It's gonna be wicked though. Um, I just moved into a new house and this is my single car garage you can see here. Need some work, turning it into a man cave. I got the couch in here, I got everything set up. The problem is, it's hot as shit out here. So, I got a solution for that, which is gonna help with that. It's not gonna completely fix the problem, but it's gonna help immensely with the problem what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to be going up onto the roof and i'm going to be installing a canada go green solar vent i know it says right there free sample not for sale but uh i didn't have time to go to the store today and buy one so i got a sample board so we're going to use the sample because it works just fine as long as it's plugged in which i have it unplugged right now um but if you guys don't know what the go green vent is the Go Green is a solar vent uh, system, has a solar panel on the top, and uh, there's a little motor inside. So every time the sun hits this, um, there's a fan inside. So when the sun hits this, the fan will turn and it'll draw the hot or cold air out of your building. For this example, we're going to use it to draw the hot air out of here. And I'm sure in the winter time, it's going to help me as well, because as you can see, there's no insulation in here at this point. So I got to get that window fixed um, so I can get like an air conditioner unit or something in it. But as for right now, to get some of this heat out of here, we're going to go up on the roof. We're going to cut a hole and we're going to put a vent in. Let's go. Okay, so basically before I go up on the roof and cut all my holes and everything, I want to go over this vent. So I've already taken it off the board, as you can see. Bring it over here in the light so I can show you. So there's your solar panel on the front. Um, wicked solar panel works perfect and you got your fan blade on the inside and up here you have a little DC motor um, and if you look inside here I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that there's one wire there and one wire here you can see the reason I have them disconnected is because this was sitting in the back of my truck and I didn't want it running constantly for absolutely no reason so basically all I got to do Take these two wires, push them back together, and also vice versa, if it was up on your roof and it's running and you don't want it to run, you just want it to be a regular vent like you would normally see on a house, just a static vent, you could simply just unplug that wire from up on the roof. You go up, reach on the inside of your vent and pull the wire apart. Uh, some people use that for like winter time, stuff like that, because they don't want it running and pulling out their hot air or whatever. Um, usually you don't have a problem it's actually good for your attic in the winter so um, obviously you don't have to do that but some people put them on sunrooms for example like I'm doing right here and if I don't want it to draw out heat say I'm running a heater in here then I can obviously turn it off and just use it as a regular static vent but now that I have this off I'm gonna walk over here right outside in the sun and watch how fast this thing starts up no oh, we got cloud cover Come on. Maybe I didn't plug it in all the way. All right, so after some technical difficulties, you can see it's now running. It started up instantly as soon as I got the wire plugged in properly. It wasn't in all the way. So now you can see the vents running. I'm gonna go up on the roof. Got my saw up there already. As you can see, got my pitch hopper up there just to hold everything in place. I mean, this roof's pretty much walkable, but uh, I got the pitch hopper there just to hold my tools. And we're also going to be using the roof snake as to not damage any shingles. Prime line, double sided knife. I don't think there's underlayment on this roof, but in case there is, I want to make sure I have that straight blade. And I'm just going to install the vent with regular roofing nails. Um, it's recommended that you use grommet screws, um, but I'm just going to use regular inch and a quarter roofing nails in their pre drilled holes and I'm not even going to put them all in because this is just a garage and I'm not worried about it so let's get up on the roof and cut that hole all right so I'm up on my roof I've now found my pretty much center point I'm a little bit off I did that on purpose to hopefully miss a truss I don't know I'm just guessing at this one because there's um there's OSB sheeting and then there's hardboard underneath so we're just going to take a guess you can hear this thing's just humming away but what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of find our point and we're gonna line it up right with this seam, but I'm gonna stay down under this shingle. That way my vent sits kind of in that area. Um, 
but I got to get underneath all of these shingles. So first things first, we're going to cut it out and then I'll remove my nails and then we'll install the vent. First things first, I'm going to mark my vent holes where my, where my edges are on the inside here, where these edges are. That's what I just marked here. And then I'm going to go up to about here. The reason being is because I want to put a curve on the top as for the vents curve. So we'll actually start here and I'll cut my straights. And right here. Like so. And we're gonna come from here and do our curve. Might not be perfect, but you can keep kind of working at it and clean it up. Here's where the roof snake comes in handy. Has its own little built-in pry bar. Not worried about tearing these shingles. Nail out of my way. And that's where my hole is going to be. You want to try to do about an 8 by 8 to 10 by 10 uh, inch hole. That way you're getting suffice ventilation with the draw. And now simply we're just going to go along. And make sure we get under these seals without damaging the shingle. Make sure there's no nails in our way. Oh. As I say, don't damage a shingle, I damage one. two nails right here as well now you're gonna be right where that seam line would have been on the shingle there should be one or two nails there depending on local code and whoever installed it as you can see there's one And before I even cut my hole, I just I like to make sure my vent is actually going to fit. I'm gonna have to spread that one a little bit farther. So now as for our vent fitment. Slides in absolutely perfect. Just like so. So that's how you'll do your installation. Now you're gonna pull the vent back out and cut your hole. So as for cutting your hole, you're obviously not gonna follow that. It's gonna to be too hard with this type of saw. Um, you could do it with a jigsaw, but it's really not that important. As long as you cut your square out, that'll be suffice enough, especially on a garage. Um, as for a house, you wanna go a little bit bigger. The bigger, the better. Just don't go wider than the actual vent opening itself. So we're gonna cut this out now.
And then another little trick when you have sawdust all over a roof, especially if it's steep, this is gonna be very slippery. So you can simply use your saw as a leaf blower just by running it. Set that out of the way. Now we're gonna take our prime line wooden hatchet. This won't be as difficult for everyone. It's just, I got two layers of wood here. So most people with just regular plywood or OSB, you could have just hit it. It would have went right through. In my case, it will not. And also I landed right on the truss, so. Make sure you open it up as much as possible. That way you can ensure that you're getting suffice airflow. All right, and now you can see I got my vent hole open. Unfortunately, I landed on a truss, which is what I was trying to avoid, but it happened. And that's where my vent hole is. Now we're just gonna take our vent, slide it into place, listen in closely. You can already hear the thing running. And we're just gonna take a couple standard roofing nails and drive them home. Now, if I was doing this on a customer's house, I wouldn't use regular roofing nails. You can, the problem is if wind does start pulling on this, it could eventually pull these loose unless you're using a ring shank nail. I'm also going through two layers of wood. So these are gonna have a strong enough hold. It's recommended that you use rubber grommeted screws that you would be using for metal roofing. That way they self seal, which the Go Green company actually puts in um, these little lips on the uh, plastic. That way water isn't gonna get into that nail um, as often. It could still happen if these nails were to rust out. But like I said, it's recommended that you use grommeted screws or at least put caulking on these. As for my instance, I am working on a garage, so I'm not doing it. And it's my own garage personally, so really I don't care. But that's it. Now it is as easy as cleaning up the roof and you're done. For this project, all you're gonna need is a saw a hammer, any roofing knife, and some kind of pry bar or something to pull your nails out um, just as to not damage the shingle. I recommend a hatchet hammer because it's really good at releasing the tar adhesive strips on the shingles as to not damage them like I did in this video slightly. But like I said, there are three tabs and they're crappy shingles. If you have an architectural roof, this hatchet is going to get the job done for you. But that's it. Four tools and you get a solar vent. Well, there you guys have it. There's a Canada Go Green vent already installed. Took me less than five minutes. This video is not a paid promotion. Guys, I am supporting Canada Go Green because they sell superior products. I'm not here for, for any sales companies. I'm here to tell you guys about the best products for your roof. And that's exactly what you're gonna get with the Canada Go Green. Trust me, the benefits outweigh the price. It's totally worth it. That garage is already about five to 10 degrees cooler just by adding that solar vent. Remember guys, you don't have to be the best. It's all right to be average. Mm -hmm.